Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th. But keep in mind that the timing is fluid. These readings tend to resonate with me in a few days. Typically, sometimes they resonate the day of, but it's usually a couple days. I find that quite often, very often, as a matter of fact. So, what do we have for a message today? Ooh, the world. So the world is a completion, a major completion accomplishment, moving towards the future. This is focusing on the future. This is saying goodbye to something. This is the end of a phase, the end of a project. This is like graduating. This is a victory of some sort. This is a long-term project that has come to an end, okay? Um, what I wanted to say was congratulations. Something is over. Something very prominent is over. It's done. It's over. It's completely over. Ooh. Whew. Okay. Well, it's over because of uh, there's no more communication. This is something coming to a halt. This is an ending as well. But in the past, maybe there's no more communication. Something has come to a halt. It's, there's no more movement, so it's over. There's no more growth. Wands are growth. But it's in reverse, so there's no more movement. This is blocked. I'm wondering if somebody could be being blocked on the World Wide Web. Okay, because this can this could uh, represent, you know, global internet, and this is a block. Somebody may have been blocked, which has caused an ending. Something is blocked. This is uh, a message that you're not getting or you don't want to hear. Okay. This could be a lack. There's a lack of communication here. There's no more communication or there's no more movement in that direction. We have somebody here that is looking at no communication, there, no victory, okay? A lesson has been learned. It's over. There's no communication. There's no forward movement. There's no victory here. There's no change that is happening. It's over. This is acceptance as well. So there's some sort of acceptance here with that world card. Accepting something. So somebody is stepping into a new life. But this page of wa page of swords reversed is, I don't know, maybe it's bitterness. There's difficulty in communication. There already is. There could be some unexpected conflict that is coming. We, we may have somebody here that doesn't see because we look. It looks like this person is looking back at something, and they're not real. They could. It's interesting because this person is is not looking forward, even though they're stepping forward, stepping into some. Somebody is stepping into something unknown okay there, there's a lack of clarity stepping into unknown territory absolutely we have somebody here that is is looking back and they're stepping into something new they may not be realizing what they're stepping into <laughs> that's what it looks like to me <clears throat> page of swords reversed No, it looks like there's there's some sort of bad news of some sort with the page of swords reversed or no communication. There is a blockage. Dishonesty. Stepping into something that is not truthful, that is not 
Somebody needs to be careful, just saying. I think we have a new beginning here with that world card because it's the last card in the deck. Something has come full circle. You need to be careful. Somebody needs to be careful. They, may, they could also receive a message that they don't want to hear. Somebody, and it could be from the past because with the world card, it is about, it is about the past. It is. This person is looking back at the past. So I'm wondering, and they really, really are looking back at the past. You see this person, that's, there's an opportunity to step through, to step through that victory wreath into a new life. But this person is looking back. Somebody is looking back at the past. There's been no communication. They've been blocked. There's no forward movement. They've probably there's bad news here. Somebody may have also may be receiving some bad news. Okay, this bad news is bad news. Okay, it is. They may be receiving some bad news about somebody from their past. Perhaps somebody has decided to uh, go down a new path. This is a change of residence. It's, a, it's stepping into a new life. Somebody has learned a lesson that has caused their evolution and they're, they're stepping into unknown territory. It feels like it's, it's spontaneous, honestly. What is this page of swords reversed? bad news of some sort that we have like tongue tied here you know this is like tongue tied this is a major completion that is go that there's no words this is there's no words to be said there's no there's something a lack of no more going no contact there's no more words being said there's nothing left to say <laughs> Three of Cups and the Three of Cups is third party interference. It's also a celebration of some sort. There could be news of a third party, okay, or third party interference. This is getting together, having fun, celebrating, socializing. Again, social media. We have something to do with social media here. Absolutely. Somebody's going to receive some bad news or they're going to read something on social media. It's not what they want to hear. It is bad news. Oh, my God. Page of Pentacles reversed. There is a lack of common sense here. A lack of integrity. Dishonest. Somebody's dishonest. We have somebody here also that has a wandering eye. This is a dead end. Doesn't want responsibility. There's no follow through. Laziness. This is a dead end. It is a dead end. It is. Something is, is coming to us. Stop. Okay. Some, it is. And we have an ending here of some sort that leads to a new beginning. It's very spontaneous. This is stepping into unknown territory. It almost feels like it's being caught off guard unwillingly. Pushed. We have somebody here that is disloyal. They don't tell the truth. Nine of Pentacles. That is independence. Independent, self-sufficient. Self unplanned. We have something that is unplanned. I know that we do. Somebody's going to receive some news that they don't want to hear, and it may lead to independence. And this could have to do with a job. It could have to do with a love life. It could have to do with something. Somebody may be becoming independent because of social media. 
something. We have a social media dilemma here. We have a very strong individual. This is somebody that is hardworking, that is very capable of abundance. There is abundance that is coming. This is independent success. Somebody may be celebrating their freedom because this is celebrating and this is freedom. Somebody, you know, could be just enjoying their life, celebrating their freedom. They're not really communicating with anybody. They're just enjoying their life. There, but there could be some sort of message that is coming for this independent person that is a surprise. It's not, it's a, we have this person right here that is, uh, independent solid stable grateful for everything that they have this is somebody that is just enjoying their life that has built up their independence or will be in the near future this is this is a very stable person that is not investing in anything but themselves Somebody's not investing in anything but themselves. They're not communicating. They're not really looking. It feels like they're not interested. They're not interested, and they're going to be, I don't know, not interested in communicating, stepping into something unknown. There is something unknown that is coming. Somebody wants to get together with this person. But this is, this is not practical, okay? It's not practical. We may have somebody that is upset. They're angry. There could be jealousy issues. The Eight of Wands reversed is jealousy. And this one is too. Somebody is jealous. They are jealous. And I feel like they are uh, watching. They may be spying on social media. Oh, well, by golly. I know somebody's going to say, well, I don't have social media. Right? Then the reading's not for you. This reading may resonate in a different manner. We have a major completion. Something is coming to a halt. You are going to be caught off guard, perhaps by a message that you don't want to hear. It could be a telephone call if you don't have social media. You could have social media, you could still receive a telephone call. We have, a, we have a successful, independent person here. If they aren't there yet, they're going to be. This is celebrating success. Somebody is celebrating their success. And I feel like there is a message that is coming from somebody that is untrustworthy. This could be somebody from the past that dated, because this is like dating. This could also be from a dating site, you know? And you, you could say that dating, people say, oh, I don't have social media. I hear it all the time. Maybe you're on a dating site, you know? This is like, it could go so many ways. Somebody's going to receive a message that catches them off guard, and they need to be damn careful about stepping into something that is not real it's not practical it's not solid it's untrustworthy it, this person appears to maybe they're involved with somebody already maybe they're already playing with somebody i mean there is third party interference here Unexpected choice in love. We have a lover here. We have another option that is coming in unexpectedly. This is a surprise. It is a surprise. Absolutely. This is a major choice making a major choice really pay attention to your lessons from the past have you learned your lesson from the past this is i feel like i feel like somebody is going to be presented with an offer that resembles something from their past 
Choose wisely. Choose wisely. You could be dealing with somebody that has no follow through. This person is untrustworthy. They're dating. They're socializing. Partying. This could be a partier that is trying to, uh, they're angry about somebody in their past. They're not healed. But we do, and they're trying to heal because the lovers is a healing love. Somebody is stepping into a new contract. This is stepping into a new contract. Oh boy. Somebody is stepping into a new contract. This is not your usual type, it's, or it's going to surprise you. You're going to be like, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? You know, whether it's somebody new or it's somebody from the past, this is, you know, she's looking up at this angel like, what the hell is this? Are you sure? And we got this person over here. It's like, what, just give me a chance. Will you give me a chance? Well, maybe, maybe you need to stop focusing on the past because this is, this is block the past. Stop focusing and don't focus on the past. There's another opportunity for love here. So this could go, we could go all day. We could. We have somebody here that's about to step into unknown territory. They may have met somebody on a dating site or on social media. They're probably going to receive an offer that, you know, is not what they expected. It's totally unexpected. But this person is focusing on something from the past completely. And they may not be communicating effectively. They're difficult, having difficulty communicating because of the past. But this is a healing love. There's an opportunity for a healing love. This may not be your usual type, but it's a perfect match. We do have an independent person who is successful and abundant that is probably going to be receiving a message that catches them off guard okay or they're going to be receiving an offer and there's a need and, the, and with this opportunity you can just be yourself you don't this this new opportunity because this is an end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one you can just be yourself you don't have to be ashamed you don't have to be somebody you're not you don't have to uh dress a certain way you can be who you are you don't have to pretend there's there's nothing to be ashamed of this is an easy connection where you will be in alignment with this other person's energy you can just be yourself with this person but there's distrust there's distrust and i feel like i feel like there's distrust because of perhaps a third party situation from the past. We do have the past here. We do because this person is clearly looking back at the past. Clearly. But we have this independent person who is doing quite well. This is receiving some sort of happy. This is happiness of some sort. Somebody may, somebody may want a reunion. They may want to celebrate. They may want to uh, get together. Somebody may be making an offer to get together. But there's distrust. I don't trust. I'm better off on my own. Not putting in any effort. There's, there's like, ah, nah, no thank you. I don't want to. Somebody's going to be receiving an offer. We have somebody here that has grown very, very, very strong and independent. Not accepting an offer because of distrust, because of the past. <clears throat> but there is a new opportunity here. This is a perfect match. This is a healing love. You were brought together. You're going to be brought, somebody is brought together with somebody that is not their usual type. And it's not the person from the past. <laughs> oh, 
Queen of Cups reversed. This is emotional shutdown, heartbroken, sadness, deep sadness. We, this is, we have somebody here that may be reconnecting. They may be reconnecting with a past soulmate from a past life, but I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's the past. I don't feel like it's the ex. You know what I'm saying? But there is a soulmate connection here with the lover's card. There is a soulmate connection, but I feel like it's a new one. It's interesting because now the, the, the masculine is covered and we have this feminine here who is like, oh my God, why is this happening? Why do you, why is this happening? Somebody's going to be receiving some news or they're going to be receiving an offer that they're not open to. And it's because they're emotionally withdrawn. There could be emotional baggage here. There could be even some tears shed. Okay, that we we may have an ending. Okay, we could go all day with this reading. We may have an ending here that happens suddenly. There could be a separation. Okay, I, I got to be honest, there could definitely be a separation here. Maybe somebody has another option. There is another option. I feel like this is sad. It's sad. It's tears. Somebody is sad. There is going to be an upcoming celebration. There is. Maybe somebody is going to be celebrating their freedom in the future. There is abundance here. This is the end of a chapter. Oh, I get it. There's, there's so, if, uh, on one hand, somebody is separating and I feel like they are reuniting with a past soulmate. I think this is somebody new. Okay. I do. I think it is somebody new. Somebody is making a major choice to stop investing in an unrequited love situation. They are emotionally withdrawing. And I feel like because there's no reciprocation, there's no communication, there's no forward movement, and there is another option. And we have been talking about this. A lot. Somebody is reuniting with a soulmate from their past. But it's not the ex. If you hear what I'm saying. It's not. I know that it's not. Good luck.